Hey guys, it's Daniel, licensed therapist. I think it's interesting for any professional to view how they are portrayed in movies and media. I think that the portrayal of therapists are kind of hit and miss. Some are powerful, beautiful, and accurate. Robin Williams' character from Good Will Hunting is a good example. But, you know, honestly, most are weird and kooky. But I'm not mad at that because honestly, it can be a funny thing. One of the most memorable on screen therapists that I can remember was Phoebe's brief therapist boyfriend. Friends, in my opinion, is one of the best shows of all time. Recently, the show's creator apologized for the lack of diversity in the show. I don't know. I like watching these six white people. I thought it was a cool glimpse into their world, and although I'm not white, I felt like I could relate to them. The writing was smart and funny, and the way they wove this therapist boyfriend story was no exception. But is it realistic? This, guy's, this guy na analyzes a lot of things, and are those accurate? Is this how we can expect a therapist to act? Well, let's answer those questions and get into this clip. Thebes, I was hoping for more of a change. <laughs> you know, I don't know why you're so embarrassed. They were very nice boobies. <laughs> nice? They were nice. I mean, th th that's it. I mean, mittens are nice. <laughs> Okay, rock, hard place, me. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're so funny. <laughs> it's really funny. Well, I wouldn't want to be there when, when the laughter stops. <laughs> okay, that is a really weird thing to say. It seems like his purpose is, is to incite Chandler or other people to ask what he means so that he can make some sort of analysis. I can see how a therapist might do that, but that that was just really strange to me. Whoa, whoa, back up there, Sparky. <laughs> what did you mean by that? Mm, well, it just seems as though that maybe you have intimacy issues, you know, that you use your humor as a way of keeping people at a distance. Huh. I mean, hey, I just met you. I don't know you from Adam. Only child, right? <laughs> Parents divorced before you hit puberty. Uh-huh. How did you know that? It's textbook. So he gives a little analysis of Chandler here based on him making a joke. So do people use humor as a way of keeping people at a distance? Yes, absolutely. Humor can be a powerful tool to lighten things up when it becomes too intimate or serious. And this sort of protective mechanism can develop through experiencing pain in very important relationships, namely divorce. So here I agree with his analysis, but the way that he does it, like he just so casually throws it out there, it's a little like tearing someone's clothes off to expose them. It is very unempathetic and almost cruel. Most therapists understand that that is not a good thing to do and would not do that. <laughs> hey, you guys. Thank you. Hey. You all know my dad. Hey, hey. Hey. hey, how long are you in the city? Just for a couple of days. I got a job midtown. I figure I'm better off staying with the kid than hauling my ass back and forth on a ferry. I don't know this one. Oh, this is my friend, Roger. Hi. Hey, hey, good to meet you, Roger. You too, sir. What happened to the uh, puppet guy? <laughs> Dad, uh, Oh, oh, <laughs> excuse me. So, Ross, uh, how's the wife? Uh... <laughs> oh, for two, huh? <laughs> uh, Chandler, quick, say something funny. <laughs> Hello? Come on up. Oh, good. Raj is here. <laughs> What's the matter with Raj? Yeah. That's nothing. It's a little thing. I, I hate that guy. <laughs> so here Chandler rightfully says how he hates him. And I don't blame him. He was basically psychologically exposed against his will in front of his friends. There's a, a wide range of emotions he could be feeling. And I definitely think that hate is appropriate. So he was a little analytical. That's what he does, you know? Come on, he's not that bad. 
You see, that's where you're wrong. Why would I marry her if I thought on any level that, that she was a lesbian? I don't know. Maybe you wanted your marriage to fail. <laughs> why? Why would I? Why? 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 I don't know. Maybe... Maybe low self-esteem. Maybe... Maybe to compensate for overshadowing a sibling. Maybe you... Wait, wait, wait. Go mm. back to that sibling thing. Well, I don't know. I mean, it's conceivable that you wanted to sabotage your marriage so that the sibling would feel like less of a failure in the eyes of the parents. <laughs> that's, that's ridiculous. I don't feel guilty for her failures. <laughs> oh, so you think I'm a failure. Isn't he good? Yeah. No, no that's, that's, that's not what I was saying. You know that's... what I mean? All these years, I thought you were on my side, but no. maybe what you were doing was sucking up to mom and dad so they'd keep liking you better. Hey, I married a lesbian to make you look good. <laughs> So, to me, this analysis was way off. There is such a thing as self-sabotage in relationships, but to do so because of overshadowing a sibling is just not a good enough reason. Most relationship sabotage comes from fear of abandonment or not feeling good enough, which then causes people to make the relationship prematurely end. This doesn't hold water for me. And also the way he does he, that he says it so confidently, that's also off. If I were in that situation, I would be a little more suggestive and if there was any pushback, I would quickly concede that I was wrong. We are not mystics and we don't know the answers to all the motivations of people. All we know is how the mind works and, and understanding patterns in human behavior. And, he does, and does he not see Ross getting mad? And where is the situation going? He appears to be pretty tone deaf here. He should interject and clean up this mess that he made. You're right. I mean, you're right. It wasn't just the Weebles, but it was the Weeble Play Palace. <laughs> and, and the Weebles cruise ship. Oh, which, which had this little lifeboat for the Weebles to wobble in. <laughs> That's tough, tough stuff. Come on, Phoebes. We're gonna catch that movie. We gotta get going. Okay, feel better, Rachel, okay? Bees, we're gonna be late, sweetie. Oh, okay. Listen. So, I don't know how they got into talking about weebles, but Rachel seems to be opening up emotionally about some memories, and it appears that the therapist was able to lead her into a place of vulnerability. It seems to be a very good thing for her. However, he pulls the rug out from under her, which is not cool. You know, they say therapy is an art, and part of that art is helping people open up. Conversely, we need to be able to close them up at the end of the session. We can't have people leaving our sessions with open wounds and going out there in the world. This is basically what he did, and it's a big no-no, and he should know better as a therapist. Thanks for everything, Mon. No problem. Listen, guys, it was great seeing you again. Mm. <laughs> Mon, uh, easy on those cookies, okay? Remember, they're just food. They're not love. <laughs> I love this line. I remember this line from years ago because it made me laugh so hard. But I don't think it's entirely accurate. People use food as a coping me mechanism, as a, a way of self-soothing, self and they can get physically and psychologically addicted, but People don't misperceive the good feeling they get from food as love necessarily. So, awesome line, nonetheless. I hate that guy. Mm. <laughs> hey, 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 how's it going? Good. Oh, oh, Roger's having a dinner thing and he wanted me to invite you guys. <laughs> <laughs> So what's going on? Nothing. It's, um, it's just, um, it's Roger, you know. Um, I don't know. There's something about, <clears throat> basically, we just feel that he's, uh... We hate that guy. Oh, we hate him. <laughs> um, okay. We're sorry, Phoebe. We're sorry. Uh-huh. Okay. Okay, don't you think maybe, though, that it's just that he's so perceptive that it freaked you out? 
No, we no, hate, I hate him. Hate him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. So, through his psychological powers, he unknowingly pissed off this entire friend group. You know, we as therapists are much better than that. Part of what makes a good therapist is empathy and awareness, of which this guy has very little of. The fact that he is so clueless makes him too much of a caricature of a therapist rather than a real therapist. Although I would not be surprised if someone like this exists out there in the real world. There was a saying in grad school, we work with the craziest people in the world and then there are the clients. So it's not like therapists don't have issues, but I would doubt that there are many like this out there. Oh, sweetie. Nothing, nothing. Oh, no, 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 what's wrong? Come Okay. <laughs> it's, I mean, it's nothing. I'm fine. It's just, um, it's my friends. They, they have a lagging problem with you in that, um, they don't. So. Oh, they don't? But, you know, they don't see all the wonderfulness that I see, you know? They don't see all the... All the good stuff and all the sweet stuff. They just, you know, they think you're a little... What? Intense and creepy. <laughs> oh. But I don't. Me, Phoebe. <laughs> well, I'm not, I'm not at all surprised they feel that way. You're not? See, that's why you're so great. Actually, it's, it's quite, you know, typical behavior when you have this kind of dysfunctional group dynamic. You know, this kind of codependent, emotionally stunted, sitting in your stupid coffee house with your stupid big cups, which I'm sorry, might as well have nipples on them. <laughs> and you're all like, oh, define me, define me, love me, I need love. <laughs> <laughs> it's clear he was completely blindsided by this, which again points to his lack of awareness, which is unbefitting of any good therapist. But he says that he's not surprised, which is a lie. So he's just being, being prideful at this moment. And he goes on this tirade, which is more of an attack than it was an analysis. But let's get into what he said. He accused them of being codependent and emotionally stunted. Codependency is something that's often thrown around loosely as an insult, but what it essentially means is a relationship where one person's a caretaker and the other one is the one needing care. And the person who's a caretaker has security in the relationship because they are needed and being needed serves to hold off their insecurity. So, you know, I don't see that at all within this group. Um, they also do not appear emotionally stunted to me. In fact, the strength of their relationships indicate to me that they are, in a sense, very mature and experts emotionally. If there was anyone that was emotionally stunted, it would be him. Hey. Hey, 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 How's it going? Oh, okay. Except I broke up with Roger. Oh. oh. Yeah, right. No. No, 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 no. Oh. <laughs> what happened? I don't know. I mean, he's a good person. And he can be really sweet. And in some ways, I think he is so right for me. It's just, I hate that guy. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so the end result ends up like everyone hates him. And for a good reason. And I wouldn't say that I would hate him, but I certainly wouldn't want to spend time with him. I actually thought his analysis wasn't bad. I just think the way in which he caused everyone, including the person he was dating to hate him, was a bit of an embellishment. And it was just meant to tell a story. It was not accurate to what a therapist is really like in the real world. I mean, look at me. Nobody hates me, right? And usually therapists make you feel good and that's who they are. They got into this profession because they're kind and want to help. They have gifts of empathy and awareness that help them be there for people. So to be hated is quite the opposite of what I've found to be the reaction to therapists out there in the world. Um, in 
in friendship or romantic settings. Hey, if you guys have anything you want me to react to or analyze, please leave it in the comments down there. Thanks so much for watching. You guys are amazing. Goodbye.